Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Good to see y'all again. Um, I was reading Zion's Watchtower. It's the 1879 Russell's version. And um, well, this is from your own people. And there's a quote in there from Russell himself. You can look it up. The documents are uploaded. And he says that a truth from Satan is just as true as if it were from God. How do y'all feel about that? You know, I forgot, I haven't, I haven't Have y'all read John 8, 44, where Jesus' own words say that there's no truth in Satan at all? So why would Russell say that there's truth in Satan the devil, but John 8, 44, Jesus, who we're supposed to follow, says there's no truth in him at all? Doesn't that seem like a contradiction to you guys? And I'm going to read you a few scriptures here in Revelation. You know, Jesus, when they went to arrest him, uh, he says... Ego a me, I am who I am. And that's a that's a God statement in the Bible. Ego I me. And if you read Revelation 118, these are Jesus' words. This is a red letter Bible, you can see. And it says, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive evermore. I have the keys of hell and the end of death. Write these things which thou hast seen and heard. And so Jesus here, in, oh, in verse 17, I'm sorry. He says, fear not, I am the first and the last. And these are Jesus' words. So Jesus calls himself the first and the last, the alpha and the omega. And then in Revelation 21, he said unto them, it is done. I am the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. And then if you go to Revelation 22, 13, it's, Jesus says it again. He says, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. You can see that right there. I'm not the, the red letters. How is Jesus Alpha and Omega if you say he's Michael the Archangel? That doesn't make sense. Jesus is the creator. And what and what you're doing is you're worshiping the creature rather than the creator and that's why you won't listen to the scriptures and you just pack up and leave because you don't you won't contend for the faith you call me bitter because I have the Bible but you won't even talk to the, to me with the Bible you would rather just leave I believe you're dedicated I believe that you think you have the truth but it's not the truth when your founder says that Satan has truth. Just like the Mormons have Joseph Smith and Brigham Young, y'all have Russell and Rutherford. And I care for you and I want you to know the truth. And tonight, if you would go in your Bible and read John 5, it says that they were picking up stones to kill Jesus because he was making himself equal with God. And that's something that I hope you do study on. And the reason the Watchtower doesn't want you guys to talk to us is because we can show you scriptures like Revelation 22, 13, Revelation 21, 6, Revelation 1, 17, where Jesus says he's the Alpha and Omega. But you won't look at the truth. And I don't understand why you won't do that. I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't want to read the Bible and scriptures with someone on the street when you put yourself in public. If you're to have the truth, why don't you stand up for it? Why are you uh, bowing down to Michael the Archangel instead of the Creator, Jesus Christ? The one that God sent, Emmanuel, God with us. That's literally the name of Jesus, God with us. And then it calls him the El Gabor, the Mighty One. And those are only terms for Yahweh. Are you ready? I'm ready. I hope y'all have a great day. And I hope that you find Jesus to be your creator and your only savior. And I hope you're blessed. And I'm sorry if I offend you. I just really want you guys to know the truth. I grew up a witness my whole life. And I know that it's not true. And that God is so real that he's with me. 
He could, he could be with us. He says he would. And then read Ephesians 3, 6, where it says that we are all partakers if we come to Christ. Not just 144,000, but all of those who put their faith in Christ alone. And then 1 John 3, 1 says that we're to be children of God. If we accept Jesus Christ as Savior, we're all children of God. Not just Tony Morris, who's been literally erased off the org. On JW.org, you can't even find Tony Morris's videos anymore. They've removed him out of pictures. And I hope that something that I said today would be planted deep in your heart and that God would give you eyes to see and ears to hear. Please never forget those scriptures in Revelation where Jesus calls himself the first and the last. I want you to be saved and to know God. Y'all have a great day.